what are you using as a baseline um, for your water quality? Baseline in what? Uh, testing. Um, I mean, how do you know when the mining company is going to be polluting the water? Are you using a baseline from groundwater in that area or streams or swamps? That, there's a couple of different um, issues involved here. It sounds like Mike's ready to answer the first one on the, on the NPPS. And then I think we'll ask Joe to help with the, the groundwater question. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, the, uh, the wastewater permit will uh, contain all the limits necessary to make sure that the water in the, in the creek there is the west branch of the, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, the Manet Creek out there. They're going to discharge to that and they have limits that they have to meet that will protect the water quality and all the aquatic life in the creek. Are, there, are those limits going to be based on the water quality that there is now in this creek? Yes. That's, that's one of the many factors that go into developing that sort of limit. And, and likewise for groundwater, um, the Part 632 permit requires a two-year baseline data collection. And you take that data, and when you uh, look at potential discharge into groundwater from, from the mine operation, uh, the monitoring points um, within that aquifer or water table if the water, left, the water quality goes up to standard deviation above your long-term background averages, that's in violation of the Part 632 permit. So um, we essentially have on, there's no requirement on copper and things like that. It's the two standard deviations above the background. What's there? So if the water is very, very clean, you, you could still be below drinking water quality standards and be in violation. Uh, these monitoring holes you're discussing or talking about, um, what kind of range from the mine site are these monitoring wells, or are they just on the mine site? The, the actual location of the, of the monitoring wells are dictated by the rules. They can't be greater than 150 feet from the whatever facility they're monitoring, whether it's the tailing basin disposal facility. And there has to be an adequate amount of them to be able to address and identify a problem early enough um, so that it can be um, addressed by the company if there is an issue. 